Reduction oxidation reactions, or simply redox reactions, are chemical reactions in which electrons are transferred from one atom to another. This transfer of electron causes a change in oxidation state or the oxidation number of the atoms. Now the atom that gains the electrons becomes more negative and is said to be reduced. The atom that loses the electrons is said to be more positive and is said to be oxidized. So let's look at atoms A and B. Suppose atom A loses an electron while atom B gains that same electron. That means our charge of A goes from a neutral charge to a plus one charge. It loses an electron. While atom B gains an electron, so its charge goes from a neutral charge to a negative one charge. So species A, or atom A, is said to be oxidized, while atom B is said to be reduced. Now we can also look at it another way. Atom A is a reducing agent. Why? Well, because it reduces atom B. It makes this atom more negative. So we can also look at atom B as an oxidizing agent because atom B takes away that electron from A and it oxidizes A. And that's why it's the oxidizing agent. So oxidation or the loss of electrons and reduction or the gain of electron always comes in a pair. The same way that acids are always paired with a base. So let's look at the most common redox reaction out there. Two H2 molecules combine with a single O2 molecule forming two molecules of water. So on this side our H2 is in its atomic state, it's in its elemental state and so is oxygen. That means they both have a charge of zero. Now in this case our oxygen becomes negative 2 and our H becomes a positive 2 and two H's cause a positive 2 charge. So our overall charge is 0 but each atom gains or loses electrons. So let's see what happens. So our H atom is the reducing agent and it loses electrons which means it's oxidized and that loss of electrons, those electrons are transferred to our oxygen molecule. And that means our oxygen molecule is reduced. So this oxygen molecule is the oxidizing agent because it gains those electrons. It takes those electrons away from the H molecule.